Incredibly, this is Baghdad. On a Friday evening, some 1,300 young Iraqis let loose at an electro party in the heart of Iraq's capital. It's a very nice thing. It's the first time I see such a party in Baghdad. There have been some parties in the past, but something like this, impossible. The event is organized by Riot Gear, a group of young Iraqis who want to promote a different image of Iraq, one that challenges the rules of the country's conservative society. Although no alcohol is served here, the parties have provoked a backlash. It's challenging in a way uh, that we are, we are organizing this thing. We have a problem uh, with people that do, they don't understand what we're doing. They think that uh, it's something that we imported from enemies of Iraq. Some of the organizers have even received threats, making security at this event a top priority. We use the money to hire our own security, and also the security forces, they secured us from the outs outskirts of, uh, of this, uh, of this um, uh, event. Despite their success, such parties remain rare. Riot Gear has managed to pull together only four over the past two years. Elsewhere in the capital, new venues offer an escape for youth who want to reclaim their freedoms. At the Faisalia Cafe, men and women mingle alongside each other, playing cards and listening to live music. They provide the atmosphere of freedom. You can see the rules when you go up. No one can come with guns. No one can look at the girls. On stage that night, Sally Mars, the only woman in Baghdad who plays electric guitar in public. Outside these walls, her way of life is a constant struggle. They want to cover the girl and uh, put in the house and uh, keep it away from the eye, keep it away from uh, <laughs> the people. And yet Sally plays on, hoping that her music will help bring about change. If you go to Europe and live a good life, where, who will stay here? Who will stay here to change the society? Who stay? Uh, ISIS and a group of Islam to make another war and uh, to kill another people. After years of war, this new generation of Iraqis are a fresh wind of hope. But many of them know that the long road towards change has only just begun.